Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Cowling. I work at the School of Public Health at the University of Hong Kong. For the past 10 years or so, I've been working on the epidemiology of respiratory infections, particularly things like influenza virus, which causes coughs and colds. Around five years ago, we were commissioned by the Centre of Health Protection in Hong Kong and the Department of Health to investigate whether influenza vaccination could benefit school-aged children in Hong Kong and their family members. Autumn of 2009, we enrolled 800 children and we randomly allocated those children to either receive influenza vaccine or a placebo and then we followed the children up to identify whether they were infected with influenza or not in the following one year. We found that the children were protected against influenza in the first few months after receiving the vaccine although there wasn't much evidence that their family members, their parents and their siblings were protected against infection. Subsequently, we decided to extend the study for another two years to see whether uh, the vaccine benefits would last even longer and also whether infections from year to year, uh, or how often infections from year to year occurred in those children. In the three years that we followed up the children, we found six different epidemics of influenza occurred. So in the first year at the beginning of the study, there was a big epidemic of H1N1. In fact, there was a pandemic around the whole world. And then the following spring, there was an epidemic of influenza B, and then later that year, H3N2. In 2011, in the winter, there was a big epidemic of H1N1 again. And then the year after that, there were epidemics of influenza B and influenza H3N2. One of the main findings of our study was that infection of school-aged children was very common. In the first epidemic that I mentioned of H1N1, 59% of children were infected. That's a really an incredible number of infections in just a short space of time. In the subsequent epidemics, infection rates were 11% and then 7% and then 14% and then 20% and then 31%. So that's really a substantial number of children being infected in each of these epidemics. And over the three years, really most children had at least one influenza infection. The second finding of our study is that the vaccines we gave out at the very beginning of the study, the effect of those didn't seem to last for that long. So for the first six or nine months, the vaccinated children did seem to have reduced risk of infection. But after that, and in the second and third year, there was really very little evidence that the children who were vaccinated before still retained any benefit. And that implies that really children need, would need to be vaccinated every year, not just once, occasionally. And the third interesting finding in our study is that infection with one virus of a particular type, for example H1N1, did protect considerably, but not 100%, against infection in subsequent epidemics of H1N1 within one or two years later. And we found the same thing for H3N2 as well. So children infected with H3N2 were protected against another infection one or two years later. And there's actually not many studies that look over, over a number of different years to identify repeat infections and how long natural immunity lasts for. So hopefully we can continue to follow up these children for even a bit longer and see uh, whether this kind of protection lasts for even three or four or five years, uh, that would be really interesting.